Hey guys, hi and welcome to the part 3 of this video, getting started with Clue uh, for beginners with PySpark. The first part, I essentially gave an introduction, what is Clue? The second part, uh, we essentially uh, did a little bit um, brush up on our PySpark uh, syntax and code, right? Where I walked you over, for example, filter, group by, head, tail, print schema, Right, so those were some of the basic commands, how to apply a transformation. We did some basic, basic one. This is part three for beginners. Again, these videos are just for beginners. Anybody can get started. Uh, so let's get started with the part three where we are gonna do our first project. Um, again, we can also write infrastructure code. So if you observe, uh, you know, on my GitHub section, all the video links are given and followed by, you know, their links and each video will have its own uh, reading material and resources. So from part two or the video, we essentially did all of these things, right? So now I'm perhaps, I'm assuming you're gonna be uh, seeing this console for the first time. So I'm gonna be going from very, very basic. So if you come to AWS, uh, right, uh, you will essentially type glue over on the search bar. And once you click on the glue, you will be navigated to this uh, uh, UI over here. Now, Glue has several components. Uh, the first component is also called as data catalog. I will go into the demo slowly, slowly as we proceed. I don't want to hurry because again, I am targeting my audience as a beginners and not advanced. I have advanced level videos as well. So um, basically here is the catalog. What is data catalog? Basically here are your databases if you have any uh, corresponding tables, right? Um, um, so basically, Catalog means whenever, um, so so whenever you, you will have various sources, right? S3, DynamoDB, Aurora. So whenever you create a crawler, I'll show you what a crawler is and we'll make a crawler for sure. And we'll write infrastructure, all that. But a simple layman language, English word, or I would, if I had to describe crawler, it's a spider. So what it does is it crawls over the files and it try to, it's basically tries to identify what do I think is the appropriate schema that I, that, I have, that I have seen in the data in that particular source. So essentially it populates a table and it creates an appropriate schema with the columns and the data type. That's exactly what it is. Don't complicate any further for beginners. So that's that. So what we're gonna do for the first lab, again, uh, any labs that you do, uh, please make sure you terminate because Glue does have charges. So, uh, you know, you, you're gonna, uh, uh, pay money so we're gonna click on add user for this I'm gonna say glue over here I'm gonna use administrator for all the projects so that we don't have to you know worry with access and all these stuff I'm gonna touch administrator click on next click on next click create user and then I will be copy pasting this uh, the username and the password on a notepad again these are important now what I will be doing is basically uh, I'll create my first database here. Uh, we'll call this learn DB. We are creating a very first glue database, right? Right here. Call it learn DB. Click on the orange button that says create database. Now a database will have tables, right? So we are gonna use crawlers to create those tables. So the first very, very basic hello world example is again, we're gonna read the data from S3. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create um, a new ta table. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna call glue, uh, or let's just call glue learn beginners is the bucket name. And I'm gonna click on create bucket. Now, again, this exercise files are gonna be there. Uh, so don't worry about that part, uh, absolutely, right? Uh, oops, uh, let me fix my uh, uh, console a little bit. Okay, so basically we made an S3 database, right? So uh, over here, glue uh, learn beginner this is our s3 bucket now come to the python code that i have written this is essentially going to populate some fake data okay and these are the access keys right so i'm going to copy these over here okay kind of paste them over here and then all you want to do is i think uh, yeah i think it's fine so we're gonna right click we're gonna run the python file uh, and we have an error failed to upload records an error occurred signature Oh, hold on, looks like my IAM keys uh, didn't work the way I expected. Uh, exception to upload records error. For errors. 
Okay, let me try and uh, let me make sure I, I, I oh yeah, I, I missed an S over here. So as you can see, and th that is why it did give me an error. So I'm gonna upload this one here, okay? And then click on this button. And here you can see, I'm gonna run it once more. So I'll have two essentially files. If I refresh, I have a, a, a folder called Saumil data and I have two files inside that. So now let's learn how to uh, crawl over or let's uh, learn how to create a table, right? Again, beginner's video, this is not an advanced level. Um, so very basic, right? So we're gonna type S3 crawl, okay? Click on the orange button, click on add data source, we're gonna click on browse and remember our bucket name was glue crawler. So we're gonna click and I'm gonna select this folder, which means I wanna crawl everything inside this folder. Again, there are other options such as glob patterns and stuff, which we will cover later. I don't wanna complicate, as I said, um, here you need to create an IAM role. Um, so I, I already have a IAM role. If you don't have, please create an admin IAM role for learning purposes. Um, I have done that. So I'm going to click here, click next. And here in the database, select learn DB. Okay. Click next, click create crawler. And here is the crawler has been created. Now, if I try to run the crawler, what this does, it will crawl over the S3, identify the schema for us and create a table. So let me show you, okay? So this might take a while. Again, my data has first name, last name, so I know what schema it's gonna be. So probably these are the fields that it, it, it is gonna create. So let's see what, what the crawler comes up with, okay? So I'm gonna wait. And once this is complete, it will essentially add a new table. Again, the goal is very, very simple. Just creating a crawler, understanding the terminology before we go into all these ETL and PySpark code and all these stuff, just the basics. Okay. So again, a very simple lab. I made a, I made a, I made an S3 bucket. I inserted few uh, records and JSON records. And here now I'm running the glue crawler again. This will have a cost, so make sure yeah, you're all right. So keep like 10 to $20 aside for, for learning. $10 should be a good amount. So I'm going to run this. And once this is complete, as you can see, one table created. If I go to the tables, if I simply refresh, and here you can see, I see the uh, word sawmill data. So observe sawmill, uh, as you can see, first name, last name, address, text, ID, series, state. It did identify the schema. Now, if I want, I could basically query my data using Athena. Athena, um, think of this as, um, you know, you could run SQL query on your S3, right? So once I have identified, I have crawled over the data, if I click on preview, and here you can see, I can see my data that I essentially have it on S3. Again, very, very simple lab. This lab, we essentially covered how to, you know, what is glue database? We created a very simple table uh, by using crawler. So we crawled on the S3, right? So the next part I'll do, I'll essentially show you the same part. That is, we're gonna write infrastructure code for that. So what we did to the console, we're gonna write an infrastructure code to do that, okay? So the next part will be that. And once that is done, now we have our tables, then we'll try to do some ETL and, and Spark code. Again, very, very easy and basics for beginner. So thank you so much. This is essentially going to be lab number three or video number three. If you have questions, you may post your questions and all the resources would be uh, could be found on the GitHub section on this particular repository, getting started with glue. And there are two videos. And if you have any problem, create an issue um, and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. That is part number four, where we are going to do um, the infrastructure code for all, all these stuff.